Hey, what's up guys? Jack here from Stuart Magpie, back again with another instalment of your favourite news segment, Music News Monday. Our first news story comes from German rock festival Rock and Ring, where on Friday the 2nd of June they had to evacuate their festival grounds due to a terrorist threat. Fortunately, the organisers have seen the festival to be a safe environment now, and they reopened their gates on Saturday, and then bands were scheduled to play, have played, and uh, it seems like it was a really good festival. So new albums that we've got come out over the past week or so, we've got In Hearts Wake with Ark, Miss May I with Shadows Inside, All Time Low, The Last Renegade, and finally we've got The 100 with Chaos and Bliss. We've got some tours to fill you in on. Firstly, we've got In Hearts Wake coming over in October in support of their new album Ark with Gideon and Silent Screams. Linkin Park have also announced another headline show to go along with their arena shows in July. On the 4th of July, they're playing Brixton Academy as well. Enter Shikari have announced a huge arena tour in the later of the year with Lone and Atlantis and Asteroid Boys supporting them. And then finally we've got Net Deep with their biggest tour to date playing the likes of the Apollo in Manchester and huge uh, venues around the country in support of their new album which is coming out in August, The Peace and The Panic. No sports announced for that yet but you can always guarantee with the track record you have the likes of Trophy Eyes, State Champs, Seaway come out with them on tour so you can always guarantee there's going to be some really really solid bands especially with last time their Creeper come out with them and you know you can always guarantee some really top quality bands to come out tour with them. Punk Goes Pop have announced their 7th edition of the Pop Covers album with the likes of State Champs, Boston Manor and Seaway all featuring on the album covering the likes of 21 Pilots and Chainsmokers and uh, yeah it seems like a really good track listing. Uh, let me know what you think of the track listing down below in the comments. And some news coming out of the Hacktivist camp where they've unveiled new vocalist Jot Maxi and new song To Rotten after the departure of uh, former vocalist Ben Marvin. And of course, around things off this week, we've got some new singles out for you. Foo Fighters announcing a new song from out of nowhere, Run. Along with this, they've released a video for it, and it's classic Foo Fighters. You know, very funny. You look at the older videos, learn to fly and walk, and that sort of thing. Fits very nicely into those videos as well, so make sure you check it out. Next up, we've got American Hardcore Outfit 100th with their new song, Hole. And then finally, we've got Hot Water Music with Never Going Back. And with this, they've announced a new album, the first one since 2012, which is huge for them. A huge melodic hardcore punk band in the scene. And uh, yeah, it's great to have new music from them, so definitely check it out. And as you probably noticed, we weren't here last week. That was due to Slam Dunk Festival. We had a pretty hard weekend, a pretty amazing weekend as well, to say the least. And again, we're not going to be here next week because of Download Festival. All the Sleep Mad Pie team are heading out to that. And it's going to be a pretty heavy weekend, so we'll let you know what we got up to when we get back in two weeks' time. And if you want to keep up to date with what we're doing at Download Festival, make sure you head over to our Instagram page, where we'll be uploading daily to our Instagram stories. So make sure you check the link in the description for our Instagram. So that's been it for another Music News Monday. Make sure you drop a comment down below letting us know what you think about this week's stories. And if you listen to any of the new singles as well, make sure you head down in the description for all the links for the new tracks as well. As always, I've been Jack from Salute the Mad Pie, and we'll see you next time.